Hello everyone. In this eighth presentation, we would discuss two very important points in NMR spectroscopy: chemical shift and reference proton. We know that shielding shift absorption towards the high field, and the shielding shifts towards the low field. So shift in the position of the signal due to shielding and de-shielding is actually known as chemical shift. Now absolute value of chemical shift or absolute value position of the signal is impossible to determine. So it is actually measured with respect to absorption of some standard or reference proton. Mostly TMS is used for this purpose. So TMS is a chosen as standard proton or a reference proton. So what happened in our sample? We are adding this compound tetramethyl silane. Let me show you its structure in the next slide. And here it is. This is a tetramethyl silane. You can see that there are four equivalent methyl groups. So they would give rise its NMR signal. So position of this TMS is uh, arbitrarily taken as a zero. The scale is used is called delta scale. So it is not zero, but it is a uh, taken as a zero. And with respect to its position, we are showing the position of our sample. So that's why TMS is called reference proton. Uh, in chemistry, let me remind you. In electrochemistry, also we are using such a reference, and that is called standard hydrogen electron. We are considering its oxidation potential as a zero volt, which is not, but we are arbitrarily taken it as a zero. And with respect to that, we are showing the oxidation and reduction potential of several half cells. Whenever you say say that oxidation potential of zinc half cell is a 0.76 volt, so absolute value is not 0.76. With respect to hydrogen, it is 0.76 volt. Similarly, here TMS is used as a standard proton or a reference proton. So the definition of chemical shift is the difference in the position of particular proton from the absorption position of reference proton. That is called chemical shift delta. This scale is called delta scale. This is position of a reference proton, and this is sample signal. I have shown this delta scale up to zero to ten. You should observe two things. Normally, on x-axis, values increase from left to right. Delta scale is a reverse. It starts from this right to left, and don't think that it ends at ten. It can further. Uh, it the values can be more than ten. But normally, we are showing zero to ten. Otherwise, suppose carboxylic acid group, its delta value is beyond ten. It is between ten to twelve. Similarly, sometimes one more scale is used, and that is called tau scale. Here you can see that, which is exactly reverse than the delta scale. So, zero delta is a ten tau. So, ten delta is a zero. Now let us discuss mathematical expression of chemical shift. So normally chemical shift delta equal to nu upon nu zero. What is nu? Nu is distance between your signal of a sample and signal of a TMS. That is the nu. So that is in the frequency. So the unit is hertz. To calculate delta. That distance in frequency is a divided with the nu zero. What is nu zero? It is a frequency of a spectrometer, which is in the megahertz. Nu is a distance between the reference signal and your sample signal, and nu zero is a frequency of the spectrometer, which is in megahertz. So one megahertz equal to ten raised to six or a million hertz. So your numerator is in hertz. So we will multiply denominator to million so that it will also in a hertz. Hertz hertz cancel. 
so it is a ratio but now the problem arises is that because a million is in a denominator so this delta becomes very smaller and it is maybe the 0.6 times zero number so such thing is a difficult to handle so to overcome this problem what we are doing we are multiplying whole this thing with the 10 raised to 6 again million so million million cancel and now since we multiply this with the million that's why we have to use its unit as a ppm parts per million now i guess here you may have confusion why we multiply with the 10 raised to 6 so why it is called its unit is called ppm so let me give you a very simple example a student scored 7 marks out of 10 and we want to calculate its percentage now we all know that percentage means it is one kind of parts per 100 whenever we say 70% it doesn't mean that examination is taken from the 100 but every 100 he or she scored 70 so there is no such word parts per 100 but see what how we are calculating percentage 7 upon 10 we multiply with the 100 and then we say it's a 70 percentage so you multiply with the 100 so that's why it is like parts per 100 so here we multiply with the million so it should be parts per million so from the previous slide now we can say that since delta and tau scales are reverse so mathematically we can say that delta plus tau equal to 10 so sometimes what happen at the end of your question paper you will be given spectral data to calculate problems of nmr values will be given to you in a delta scale in problems sometimes you should check the description of the signal may be into the tau value then easily you can convert it into delta because delta plus tau is 10 so just subtract it from the 10 and you will get the delta value one more thing i want to tell you this is a summary the shielded proton fall into the low field and in a low field this this is low field delta is a high tau is a low and shielded proton we know that fall into the high field you can see that here high or up field delta is a lower but tau is a high so that table consists that summary d shielded high delta so low tau low field absorption shielded reverse low delta value high tau value high field one more interesting thing is that delta scale is a uniquely designed whenever we are recording the nmr of a same compound on a different spectrometer then position of our signal signal of a sample from the signal of the tms is a change but delta remains same how is it so let me explain you in this figure you can see that it is a nmr of a compound benzyl acetate is shown it is recorded on two different spectrometer first operating at a 100 megahertz second at a 400 megahertz so color code green for 400 color code red for the 100 now you can see that suppose this signal on a 100 megahertz its distance from tms is a 500 now again let me remind you how we calculate delta it is a new upon new zero so new is this distance of your signal from the distance of tms that is 500 and what is operating frequency 100 500 upon 100 answer is a 5 delta now whenever we report we measure the same nmr on other instrument operating at a 400 what will happen this distance would be 2000 but again as we are uh, dividing it with the 400 so 2000 upon 400 that is again 5 you can see that on two different spectrometer the signal's distance may be change but delta value is not this is a, a problem related to the delta 
using 60 megahertz instrument so operating your new zero is this 60 distance between tms absorption and other proton are three values are given 430 180 and 70 calculate chemical shift we will discuss one of them what is delta nu upon nu zero nu is in hertz 430 but nu zero is in megahertz this one spectrometers operating frequency so we have to convert megahertz into hertz so 60 into 10 raised to 6 number is a very smaller so we have, we have to multiply it with the 10 raised to 6 which will cancel and now 430 upon 60 but we will write its unit ppm 7.17 ppm that way you can calculate now let us also discuss standard proton tms earlier i have told you we are adding reference proton and its position is arbitrarily taken as a zero so we start our uh, delta scale from the where the signal of tms is there wo jo dialogue hai na wo tms bolta hai ki line wahi se shuru hoti hai jahan hum khade rehte hain so delta scale starts from there why tms is a chosen reference proton standard protons must have some characteristic out of all these millions of compounds, why TMS? One thing, central atom is a silicon, which is a comparatively with the lower electronegativity. And 4 methyl group having plus I effect, electron releasing effect. So TMS is a highly shielded molecule. And 12 equivalent protons give rise a common NMR signal. So TMS is a highly shielded that its signal fall into quite high field compared to most of them using the word most of them organic compound TMS signal fall into the high field so obviously mostly compounds their absorption is comparatively at a lower side of the TMS or we can say that left side of the TMS so but remember, I have used the word most of. In my forthcoming presentation, we will discuss some examples which are even uh, absorbed at a high field than the TMS, but such compounds are quite a few. Now the characteristic why TMS is selected. One reason, the reference which we are using, its signal should be easily recognizable and it should give only one signal. You just think about that. If your reference showing more signals, then how would you know that the signals are of your sample or of the reference? But TMS, as I said, 12 equivalent protons give rise only one sharp, intense signal, easily recognizable. Second thing, and very important thing, TMS is a chemically inert. Just think about it. What happens if your internal reference it mix or react with your sample and whenever you report the NMR you measure the NMR you are getting something else so it is a chemically inert it is soluble in most of the organic compounds one more very important characteristic is it's a highly volatile boiling point is a just 27 degree sometimes our sample is a very very precious and we want to recollect it so see just 27 degree boiling point it can be easily removed and sample can be recollected so due to all this characteristic TMS is actually chosen as a reference and sometimes for the uh, water soluble compounds sodium salt of 2 2 dimethyl 2 silapentane 5 sulfonate which is called DSS is used at that time Solvent use is a deuterated water, D2O, it is not H2O and it is, this reference is actually water soluble. So I hope that in this presentation you must understand the chemical shift and internal reference mostly taken as a TMS. So let us summarize, chemical shift is a uh, distance of your uh, sample signal from the signal of a TMS, chemical expression, it is a nu upon nu zero, 
since we are multiplying with the 10 raised to 6 so it's a, a unit is a ppm scale is a unitary device so you keep changing the spectrometer but delta values remain same sometimes tau scale is used delta plus tau is 10 uh, shielded proton they fall into high field with the lower delta d shielded fall into low field with the higher delta and tms having a characteristic that's why it is used as uh, internal or reference proton so i hope that you understand these two points in this presentation thank you